Okay guys, as I promised, I said I would come back and give you some practice problems for your basic equations. There's a certain order I want to do this in because I think when you go to school the way that they do it, they're trying to teach you quickly. And so it makes it more confusing for us older generations or even the younger. So um, if you want to, pause your video, write these down, and we will do this one by one. Okay, here we go. Remember that x equals a question mark. Here we have x plus 5 equals 20. So what we're going to do first is we want to get x by itself. So we're going to have to subtract 5 here and do the same on this side. Okay? Now, we're not having a way I have this set up right now. You don't have to worry about the negative the positive right here. And it's going to equal 15. That cancels, of course. So x equals 15. To make sure of that, you want to plug that 15 into that x and then add it again. Number two, x plus 7 equals 14. What you want to do here is the same thing. There's constant, your number. You want to do the opposite on both sides. Okay, this cancels, x comes down, equals, and that's going to equal 7. Okay, and then you want to plug it as I said. Okay, x plus 50 equals 100. Well, same thing applies here. We're going to subtract 50 from both sides. And like I said, you can pause the video to make sure that you've done it right so that you can practice yourself. And of course, this is going to equal 50. And x equals 50. Okay, now we see a y here. I put that there on purpose just to let you know. Do not panic. It is the same exact thing. We're going to subtract 10. For both sides because that's the opposite of adding and of course you're going to have x equals i mean i'm sorry it's messing me up too y equals 20. okay so if you are catching this video you want to go back to the very first basic video of algebra before you catch this one i hope this helped uh this is dw helping people with math making it easier